So when you first come to the main screen, depending on how yours is set up, uh, you can change what you see first, but I see the welcome. You can set it to, to be on project settings or your project that you have open either one. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but there's a way to go in there and set it. But if you're looking right here, you will see audio device type and you'll see ASIO, right? So whatever device you have, hopefully you have it set for ASIO. If not, you can use ASIO for all, which is another plugin to help you still achieve ASIO settings. I have my device, I'm using my Zoom L8 ASIO driver, and I have my sample rate right here at 4,800. Now it depends on what type of interface you're using. This particular interface for the Zoom only goes 44.1 and 48 as far as the uh, interface goes. Now, if I'm recording, if I'm correct, I think it just goes up to 48 or 44 too as well. So you might have an interface that goes higher than that. So, uh, but right now my sample rate is at 48,000. Buffer size is set pretty low at 256. And then I can go from there. Now you can also adjust this under settings, audio devices, and then you'll see the same option here. Okay. And if you're not sure how to set the buffer size, you can set it here or you click on your control panel. And then if you have a control panel that's there, then you can see here it says sampling rate 48,000. Then I can change this to whatever I want it to be. All right, keep it on 256. Now that I have that set up, the bit depth is what I was trying to figure out exactly where it is. And I looked through, try to look through the website for Traction's website. I looked at other videos and it might be an option, but it's something I'm just not seeing like real clear. You know, once again, I'm so used to being in Cakewalk. Uh, normally I can find stuff really quick, but I will tell you this, that when you go to a project and you get ready to export it. So this is a new project I just created basically. Um, really like the layout of this waveform has a lot of cool stuff you all and this is the free version but the pro and some of the other ones i looked at so many things that it has like when i was looking at other videos and it has a lot of great stuff so if you're getting ready to export you're going to go click on the menu down here three lines all right and then hopefully yours looks like this the layout can be changed too as well so go to file export render to a file right once you click that then you will see the option to change you know the waveform you could do you know mp3 aif whatever you do sample you can do stereo sample rate then you can change the sample rate now of course if you're recording at a higher sample rate like 96,000, and you wanted to you know get this ready for a cd release or whichever of course you need to reduce it to 44.1 i would never suggest you starting at a lower sample rate and then deciding to render it at a higher sample rate because it's not gonna translate well but it's always good to go as high as your sound card or your interface will allow you to do then you can always downscale later on all right and then over here a sample size is what we see the bit depth and it's set on 24 bit right now all right, but I can change it to 16 bit and let's see, 24 bit, 32 bit. And it's letting me know that there isn't an audio to render yet yeah, because I don't have anything recorded right now. But I would normally keep this on 48, 24, and then I would go about rendering it. Now, I don't know when it records, if it's gonna record at 24 bit, this is what I was trying to look for. I don't really know where it tells you that information yet. So maybe in some moment in the comments, you got more uh, familiarity with this software. I'm still a newbie to it, but I'm trying to share it as I learn. So don't expect me to be all knowledgeable in this particular one. But if you find a spot where it tells you exactly um, information about it, then let me know. Cause I like right now, I don't really know what sample it's at, but I know I can record stuff. I did make a video about how to record like a basic tutorial on getting started with this. So definitely check that video it should pop up now. If this has been helpful, consider subscribing. Once again, click the notification bell so you're notified every time that I post new content. This is just a short video. Um, let's stay tuned for more Cakewalk videos. My schedule, I upload Cakewalk videos on Thursdays at 8 a.m. Hopefully. <laughs> 
and then I go live Monday night at 8 30 p.m. Central Standard Time today today I should be doing it now but nobody signed up if you want any help with this cakewalk any type of help at all I'm doing 15 minute sessions for free all right I'm getting to doing paid ones but I'm doing 15 minute free sessions from now until 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time so if you see this video and you're like dude I need to get some help hurry up and get on there and do that and if you are a person that's like hey I need help with my vocals I have a vocal template that you can actually purchase for ten dollars it's pretty cheap you can get it on my website www.justanorm.com that's also where you can find the sign up for the 15 minute session all right so definitely check those out and I think that's it all right take care you all love you peace